Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we're gonna do a very easy simple stitch for you guys the beginners. If you want to do a, I don't know, an infinity scarf, maybe a hat, maybe a pillow cover. This is, uh, this stitch has only two rows repeat. This is the front of the, the stitch and this is the back. So the stitch is not reversible. And if you want to try some uh, some easy stitch. I think this one might be it. Okay, this stitch we're gonna chain multiples of two, even numbers. I'm gonna work now with um, 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. So after you chain your even numbers, we're gonna skip the first chain, and in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna do a single crochet. And in each chain, until we finish this row, we're going to do single crochets. I think with this stitch, it's good if you work with, uh, unless you like the being bumpy a little bit. Uh, if you like a little bit loose, then you're going to use a bigger crochet hook. For example, this yarn that I'm using, this white one, it's saying that I should use at the most 3.5 millimeter crochet hook but I'm working with uh, 5.0 so the sample that I showed you that yarn it's very thin I think uh, 3.0 millimeter crochet hook at the most I should use with that uh, sample but I used uh, 5.0 for that sample so we do the the single crochet first row in each chain then we're gonna chain one we're always gonna chain one at the end of the row turn your work and now into the first stitch here we're gonna do a single crochet yarn over the hook into the next stitch we're gonna do in there one double crochet without finishing so you're gonna leave the loop there yarn over the hook go back again into the same stitch and do the second double crochet and you're gonna go back again into the same stitch and do the third double crochet. When you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops. Into the next stitch we're gonna do a single crochet and we're gonna alternate like this until the end of the row. Into the next stitch we're gonna do three double crochets without finishing them. And you go back again and do the second so we have three loops on the hook, yarn over the hook and go back again for the third double crochet. So you're going to do three double crochets in there without finishing them. Four loops on the hook, pull the yarn through all the loops. Into the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet. And like I said we're going to alternate like this. So yarn over the hook, move to the next stitch and we're going to do three double crochets in there without finishing. So you go back again and do the second and go back again for the third double crochet. So you have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull the yarn through all the loops into the next stitch, single crochet. And like I said this stitch has only two rows repeat. So into the next stitch we're gonna do three double crochets without finishing them. And one more. So we have four loops, pull the yarn through all four loops into the next single crochet, into the next stitch. Okay, yarn over the hook, into the next we're gonna do three double crochets without finishing them. So you go back again for the third one. When you have four loops on your hook, pull the yarn through all four loops into the last stitch, this one here. We're gonna do a single crochet. You're always gonna finish with a single crochet yeah. each, uh, each row anyway, or this row. It's gonna look like this. This is the back of the work. So again we're gonna chain one, turn your work, 
and now in each stitch we're gonna do single crochet so like I said if you like this bumpy work with a smaller crochet hook or if you want a little bit loose then work with a bigger crochet uh, number than the yarn recommends so in the first stitch here we're gonna do a single crochet so these are the two rows that you're going to repeat on and on. So move to the next, where is this the, the cluster of double crochets. You're going to go on top in there and you're going to do a single crochet. Move to the next stitch, single crochet. On top of the cluster, the stitch is right here. You're going to do a single crochet. So yeah, it's a very easy stitch for you guys, the beginners, just to practice. I think this will look nice if you work in circle but you have to put the, the marker each time you reach the end of the, the row to know when to change uh, to do the single crochet the, and the next row the cluster of double crochet so the last stitch is here we're gonna go into the last stitch we're gonna do a single crochet chain one and now we're gonna repeat the row with uh, looks like this we're gonna repeat the row with the double crochets together. So the first stitch is here. We're gonna do a single crochet. So we start with a single crochet and we're gonna finish with a single crochet in the last stitch. Yeah? So the next stitch, yarn over the hook, into the next, we're gonna start doing the three double crochets without finishing them. We go back again for the second and the third double crochet. Pull the yarn through all the loops into the next stitch, single crochet. Okay, this there. okay, so you move to the next stitch, you're gonna do three double crochets without finishing them. So, one go back again for the second and the third. Four loops on the hook, pull the yarn through all the loops into the next stitch single crochet and you're going to alternate like this until you finish the row so into the next stitch three double crochets without finishing them yeah I think in this stitch it's nice if you work with a bigger crochet hook so four loops pull the yarn through all four loops into the next stitch single crochet next stitch three double crochets without finishing them and the third one pull the yarn through all the loops so into the next stitch single crochet you always should finish with a single crochet into the last stitch so the next stitch we're gonna do three double crochets together one two and the third one four loops pull the yarn through all four loops and into the last stitch single crochet remember this stitch works with even numbers so now you're gonna repeat the row chain one you're gonna repeat the row with the single crochets in each stitch so the first stitch is here you're gonna go into the first stitch single crochet the stitch on top of this cluster right here single crochet the next stitch single crochet and so on yeah don't forget the the stitch between the the clusters it's this one here yeah, it's a very easy stitch I think if you want to make a blanket I think this is nice but I think, like I said, a hat with uh, in, in circle. So this is the last stitch here. I'm gonna do a single crochet. You're gonna chain one, and now you're gonna repeat the row with uh, three double crochets together. So and it looks like like this. Mm. Unless you like these uh, bumpy things to to be this bumpy, then you're gonna work with the yarn that uh, uh, the crochet hook that the yarn recommends. Uh, for this I use 4.0 and for this sample also 5.0 and it's a little bit uh, 
airy, you know, you can see. It's not so so thick. Has some, I think, for a baby blanket. If you use a nice soft yarn, I think this will be nice. So you're gonna choose which side you like for a hat, for example, if you like this side or you like this one. And I think the sides are pretty much okay. Let me put the camera a little bit so that you can see. So the, the sides are like this. So I think they're pretty much okay, the sides. Yeah. For a blanket, if you want to put uh, a border, and you're gonna finish, if you do a blanket, you're gonna finish with the last row of single crochet, like I finished here in each stitch, single crochet, because we start with a single crochet. So you can, uh, it's gonna be easy uh, for you to, to attach the, the border, at least the top and the bottom. Yeah. On the sides, well, you're gonna have to go one, two, three, four, you know, in each, uh, to do single crochets around and uh, attach a border. Yeah. So yeah, this is the, the stitch. I hope you like. Give it a try for you guys the beginners or even if you're not a beginner and you want to work something that is easy and fast and doesn't require to, to concentrate too much. Yeah. And this is what we worked up until now. Yeah. So this is the back. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Give it a try to this uh, this stitch, you might uh, enjoy it.